Hey there, Dr. Norris Goldberg, owner of Koru Chiropractic, and welcome to the growth phase of your spinal hygiene exercises on The Answer. Today, we are gonna be building on your foundation from new beginnings. We're gonna be adding more dynamic movements, including the answer movement, which is an amazing movement that is dynamic for the spine. It builds strength, stability, stamina, and endurance as well as adding in some yoga moves to increase the range of motion and enhance your mind-body connection. Remember, maintaining the health of your spine on a daily basis is extremely important to counteract the stresses of life. That's why we do 15 minutes every single day because that is 1% of your day making you 1% happier, healthier, and a better you moving towards optimal health. Enjoy this round of exercise, complete it for at least a week, up to a month, and if you're having any difficulty, please don't hesitate to reach out to make sure that you're doing it properly and that the answer is right for you. Okay, we're ready for our first minute of exercise. We're gonna be doing the answer movement. Mindfully put your toes under the toe bar, sit back onto the seat, lean back, and reach your spine back into extension while inhaling, and then on the way up, sit up, and then stand up, exhaling the entire time. Keep your spine and core engaged, and repeat the movement throughout the minute. Okay, now we're ready for our second exercise. We're gonna be doing Y holds. You're familiar with this exercise. This time, instead of repping it out, you're gonna hold the Y position for the entire minute. Remember, engage through the feet, the glutes, and the back, especially between the shoulder blades, and keep that chin slightly tucked to keep your neck and cervical spine in an optimal position. If you're unable to hold it for a minute, go as long as you can, rest for a moment or two, and then hold it for the remaining time. for our third minute of exercise, mindfully move to the top of the answer. We're ready for bird dog holds. We'll start with the left arm up, the right leg back, feeling a steady and strong contraction through the glute muscles, through your back and through your shoulder. Again, maintain a slight tuck at the chin. Your neck should stay in alignment with your entire spine. And as you can see, I look like I'm a bird dog pointing at something that I've seen in the grass. Hold that for 30 seconds and then we're going to switch sides. Now we will do the right side, same thing. Right arm up, left leg back, contract through the glute, contract through the spine, maintain a steady head and neck, and hold for 30 seconds. Okay, we're ready for the fourth minute. Mindfully step to the top of the answer. Put your feet under the toe bar. Mindfully sit back onto the seat. Reach your spine to extension. And this time on the way up, we're gonna do a big salutation. Bring your arms to the side, reach them high overhead, and then bring your hands back to heart center. And then mindfully sit back on the answer again. Repeat for an entire minute. Make sure you're getting nice extension when you sit back on the answer. And when you reach up, reach for the sky and feel a long, tall spine. Okay, we are 
ready for minute five of the answer, just mindfully sit back on the seat. We're ready to do twists. Remember, maintaining a long and straight spine is the most important part. If you are slouching in your back, especially your low back, you're actually compromising the health of your spine. So I'd rather you limit the amount of twisting you do by keeping that spine straight than bending a lot and curving in your low back. You're familiar with these, so again, just repeat for a minute. Okay, we are ready for the sixth minute of the exercise. We are gonna do bridge holds. You should be familiar with these. Again, engage those glutes, press your hips high to the sky, letting your spine go into extension. You may move your arms, letting them just hang to the side, out to the side in a T position or even overhead. Draw your belly button towards the spine and upwards to really engage the core and get the optimal amount of contraction and always don't forget, keep breathing. Okay, we're ready for our seventh minute of exercise. We're gonna be doing the answer movement with side bends. So mindfully put your feet under the toe bar, sit back, reach back, extend that spine, and then sit up, exhale, stand up nice and tall, reach for greatness, and then bend side to side. The first round, we're gonna to bend to the left and then the right. On the second round, to train your brain a little more, we're gonna to bend to the right and then the left. Okay, we're ready for our eighth minute of exercise. Mindfully move back to the answer. Put your pelvis on the seat. Drive your feet and glutes into the ground and the seat and extend those arms to the side. We're doing T holds for one minute. Maintain that slight chin tuck. You should feel contraction all the way from the base of your skull down to the base of your spine and really all the way through the whole backside of your body. This is excellent for counteracting the negative effects of stress and gravity that we face daily, sitting, driving, text messaging. This is one of the best exercises you can do on a daily basis to strengthen and lengthen your spine. Okay, we're ready for our ninth minute of exercise. Mindfully move your forearms to the top of the seat. We are gonna do planks for the next minute. It should feel very similar to the T holds where you're feeling the contraction. Again, through the glutes, through the shoulders, keeping the neck and chin slightly back and tucked and pulling your elbows and toes towards each other to get the optimal amount of contraction. You should be feeling your belly button sucking up towards the spine with a strong contraction hollowing out your core. Okay, we're ready.
ready for our 10th minute of exercise. Mindfully move to the top of the answer, put your feet in the toe bar, sit back onto the seat, reach into extension, inhaling, and then sit up, exhale, stand up, and twist to the right, and then twist to the left. Next time that you do the answer, you'll mindfully sit back down, inhale, sit up, exhale. Now twist to the left and twist to the right. This alternating pattern will help stimulate your brain and your nervous system on a level beyond just doing the exercise alone. This is a very important range of motion for the health of your spine and the health of your hips and even your shoulders. So really feel that twist and work to increase your range of motion each time. Okay, we're ready for minute 11. Mindfully move to the back of the answer. We're gonna do W holds. Again, put your pelvis on the answer, engage those glutes. I like to even do a couple of pumps where I reach up almost into the Y position and bring it back into the W, pulling my elbows towards my hips and pelvis. You should really feel a lot of contraction happening in your mid back and your lats, which are right on your back and feel it in the side of your ribs as well. Again, I'm maintaining my slight chin tuck and contraction throughout the spine great, great postural exercise to be doing on a daily basis. Okay, we're ready for minute 12. Mindfully turn your body. We're ready for side planks. You're gonna put your arm into the seat and stack your feet. If you can't maintain stacked feet, you can stagger them, but really feel that contraction on the lower half of your body, contracting through the glutes and the core, maintaining stability through the neck and the shoulders, and reaching your arms apart to feel that strong, stable contraction. Switch sides now, same thing, contracting through the side of the hip, the core, and reaching and extending through the shoulders to maintain strength and stability. ready for our 13th minute and our final round of the answer. Mindfully put your feet under the toe bar, sit back onto the seat, inhaling on the way back and exhaling on the way up. Reach up, extend your hands behind your back and push them into your low back and glutes for support. Make sure you are maintaining a strong contraction through the glutes. If you're feeling any pinching or unsteadiness or irritability here, it's important that we discuss that because this is a very important movement to be doing for your spine, but it can hurt you if you're not doing it right. Ready for our 14th minute, we're going to be doing eye holds, so mindfully move to the back of the answer, press your pelvis into the seat, extend your arms out straight overhead. This is the hardest one of the holds for anyone with any sort of shoulder injuries or weakness, so work your way up to holding this for a minute. Make sure you maintain chin tuck and strength and stability and contraction through the entire back half of your body, especially your glutes and your upper back. And don't forget to breathe. for our 15th and final minute of the answer workout. 
through the growth phase, we're gonna be doing alternating donkey kicks. So you're gonna start with your right and then move to your left. The key to this is there's gonna be a lot of wobbling of your body on the seat and your hands, which are holding the tow bar. So press your hands out to the side. That will engage your triceps and your shoulder muscles to hold your spine and your shoulders more steady. And that way you can really focus on getting that leg and hip back in a strong, steady contraction through your glutes. And don't forget to maintain a slight chin tuck and a nice straight neck, as well as breathing throughout the movement. Great job. You have just completed the growth phase of the spinal hygiene exercises on the answer. Remember, 15 minutes is 1% of your day. You just got 1% better, and if you keep that up, we are on track to building a happier, healthier you with a stronger and more stable spine. I'm really excited to show you the next phase, the strength phase, but stick with the growth phase for at least a week until it starts getting easier up to one month. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you're having any difficulty or pain completing the workout, please reach out to me and we'll make sure it's the right fit.